Ah, another day in the shed. Look at all the garbage everywhere. What a shit pot. Somebody didn't sweep the floor. Not to worry. What we've got here today, um, we are uh, mounting the dry, the feed uh, thread on the on the lathe. Now, this particular feed thread works okay. As you can see, it it, it pushes. Are we seeing that? What are we seeing? I don't know what we're seeing. We're seeing a chair. Yeah, it's not showing much. I'm gonna hold it. Yeah, we're we're we have got a a makeshift handle here on here. It's a threaded bar comes through to here. And uh so you can see that. But it's moving ever so slightly up. Right, it doesn't uh, have a very high feed rate turning it by hand. I'm quite surprised, I thought it would because it's a fairly big thread. But anyway, I've got it here like this, and this um, this threaded bar, it's so bent, straight from the shop, it's bent. It's not very good at all. And I mean to say, Bunnings should be ashamed of yourself for this bent threaded bar. But anyway, it'll do the job. What I said is this is a lathe to make a lathe. I'll make me parts on this. What I can't make, I'll make in a new lathe. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I think, is change this. Move the threaded bar from here on the side. So, it's, you know, looks nice and convenient out the side here, like all other lathes. But I think I'll move it to uh, under here. So, at the back of the lathe, the threaded bar will go through here right up to the to the middle of here up here um, in here so it's actually pulling from the center of the saddle and hopefully it'll hold the saddle down but you know that's uh, just uh, well change experiment find that it's no good change it find that it's no good and change it again but see there's no limit to the amount of changes you can make. So, yeah, there we go. Um, pretty damn good. I don't know who we're supposed to shout out to. Oh, there's a shout out to Spessy in Slovenia or Slovakia or Sle Sle something. Yeah, he's a millennial too. He might grow out of it. Well got a bit of a change. Somebody's stolen the thread. Oh, there it is in there. So the thread's in there and there's the saddle and sort of a, again, a temporary mount for the uh, bolt in there. But the problem with it is that the threaded bar is bent like I said before so that is a little bit and rolls a little bit but it works pretty good and uh, that's what we want so we screw it down that way screw it back now if I had uh, a handle on this end it would be a lot better so I think the next trick is to cast the handle, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that's a minor detail. But this, this is this is really good. It's it's very, very, very solid. I'm trying to move that there. The whole bench is moving. But yeah, I love it. And the threads, uh, threads inside. So it's not out here, stuck out in the way. I was thinking it was in the way when it was out this side here. So we took that off. It didn't take much to take it off. Need to clean up the dags a bit. Everything needs to be cleaned up a bit. Something like, you know, all of that spatter in there has to be cleaned up. Stuff like that. But basically it's coming out very well. Um, 
everything gets mounted up properly. Yep, I like it. But then now we're waiting on our pulleys for here, so as we can have pulleys here and our motor over here. Right, pulleys here, and then motor over here, further over. And that'll allow it to spin the right way round instead of the wrong way round. We'll call this the wrong way round lathe. Yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's pretty good. It's just not too bad at all. And this in there is very good. It's a um, matter of maybe buying another threaded bar when it's straight. I don't know how, how I managed to buy a bent one. You'd think I'd notice that. But no, don't. The old man didn't see it. Anyway, uh, shout out to, I don't know, uh, Felix Matt in uh, Newcastle. He keeps putting um, comments on me on me YouTube, so I suppose I better say hello to him. Yeah, he's a good little lad. All right, that's it, bye, folks.